Good morning, everybody. Warm coffee, homemade bread. I have a friend that has a schnauzer. It's my favorite dog. And uh, she brought me some homemade bread. And it tastes really good. You just slice off a piece and put real butter on it. And yum, yum, yum. A lot of ground to cover today. Strength of the gospel. The mystery, the gospel, the strength thereof. I got to bend over here and get a variable rheostat that's on the floor. Turn this light up just a little bit. There we go. I'll get a little more light on the left side of my face. It's all adjustable. The world is adjustable to maneuver you, make you think you need uh, the special shirt that's advertised or the special car or certain size home. Remember, we all must keep up with the Joneses. Uh, I won't go there. Verse 10 of the very last verse of the most important letter to Gentiles in the New Testament. What letter would that be? If you're not a regular student, you have no idea. But uh, most of my students can make a guess of the foundation circulation letter of the Christ Anointed Church. I teach and preach back to the Christ Anointed Church that the Holy Spirit started through Barnabas and Paul when he called them out to the work that they were appointed to and they were sent out by and with the Holy Spirit, giving them directions on where they could go and where they couldn't go. Paul went north in Turkey near Troas and was going to make a right-hand turn to Bethania, and uh, the Holy Spirit said no and gave him a dream or a vision of the, I think, the Thessalonian jailer. Some, I'm guessing right there. I haven't read up on it recently. So he continued north and west. He went across the water there at Constantinople and went up to Macedonia or Thessalonica. It wasn't Macedonia. I knew. All right. The, uh, the Thessalonian jailer. And it could have been in Macedonia. <laughs> so I might be right on both accounts. Remember, I'm dyslexic. So I'll say numbers backwards when I'm going fast, uh, and that's the problem. If I don't go too fast, I'm okay. Verse 10 of chapter 6 of the letter of Ephesians, the expanded truth letter. Colossians is the condensed truth letter. Read and study them together. Jump over Philippians and go back and forth between Colossians and Ephesians for at least six months. Every day, read a few verses of scripture from Ephesians and Colossians to you start finding the common verses that hold each other up, verify. Truth is found in scripture by repetition. That simple, okay? And, it, tr and truth is not implied by the Holy Spirit. It's made clear in twos and threes and fours. I don't care if you have one verse of scripture to back up your theology or you're using a word that the Holy Spirit didn't put in his book, his holy book, his eternal book, his eternal word, uh, then you're building your own theologies and doctrines. Don't, I, I had a simple debate with a friend who practices very good things, helping people, loving people. He practices what Christians should practice, but he's built his own religion. So the only thing I could say to him lovingly, sitting at McDonald's one day, is make sure if you've built your rules and you're playing a game by baseball rules, make sure the Lord isn't requiring football rules. Did you hear what I said? Make sure you're in harmony, in step, and in parallel. If God desires to use the rules to the game, football, 
If you're playing to the rules of your game, baseball, that's two different games. You're not in the will and the plan of God. If he's playing by football rules, you have to play by football rules. His rules. He's the creator from the same lump of clay. And there are very few vessels made for destruction, but there were some, such as Pharaoh. He hardened Pharaoh's heart against Moses' request. God hardened his heart. He was a vessel prepared for destruction. When the Lord chose his 12, uh, uh, Judas, he knew that Judas would open his heart and let Satan enter, and Judas was the instrument to betray the Lord, a vessel prepared for destruction. Okay, so much for that. 6.10 of Ephesians, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor. May I emphasize whole armor, completely dressed in the spiritual armor. The whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, and the devil's name is Satan. Okay, and if you study out Lucifer, you'll find out that Satan is his higher name. Okay, uh, I want to go to the finish line. I'm the teacher that goes last, middle, first, finish line, middle of the race, start of the race. And I want to go to the finish line because it's all here in three verses. All here. Are you hearing me? This simple. Here it comes. Whom I have sent. God sends apostle teachers in every age. I know that there's 20 plus prophet teachers, living and existing continuators today on the earth. And there has been for every generation because the gift is a continuation gift. When the one gets old and passes away, the gift is passed on to the next younger one. So it's a continuation gift. Verse 22, sixth chapter of Ephesians, whom I have sent unto you, for this purpose, and he's talking about Tychicus, the mailman, the deliverer of letters, okay? A much traveled man, as much as Paul, maybe more than Paul. For this purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and that he, Tychicus, might comfort your hearts and minds, heart minds. Peace be, and we have a witness of peace over in verse 15, and I'm reading 23. Peace be to the brethren, beloved brethren, saint sons, son saints. Women are in the saint sons stewardship. Okay, peace be to the brethren. Love, we have love here and love down in 24. True witnesses, I'm giving you two different places just on this page a true witness. Faith in, and we got faith in over, where is faith in? Up above where I started in 21, 21 and in 23. Peace be to the brethren and love with faith or faith in from God El Father, put L over the first strong and almighty, the first singular title, El Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, X out and El Father, the Lord Jesus Christ are the one and the same, spirit and word. Okay, verse 24, grace be. Now, grace be, you got to go back to the beginning of this letter. Grace be and grace three times and glory three times in the first chapter. When you read the first chapter and find the four wills of God, of which the third will is connected to the mystery. It is God's will that you know the mystery of the gospel, the gospel of the mystery which is 619, verse 19 of this page we're reading. Uh, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I might open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery, ex out of the gospel, the gospel of peace, the mystery of Christ in you, the mystery, the gospel, the gospel, the mystery. They go together. They're connected. Two words, that tight, that close. They're connected. Spirit, soul, heart, mind, mystery, peace, or no, Christ, peace, and the mystery, the gospel. They're all connected. Did you get it? 
All right. 24. Grace be with all them that love. We had love up in 23, true witness. Love our Lord. And we're, we have our Lord through this letter many, many times, more than four. Through the Give the Lord his deity, his headship, his deity. Call him Lord. He's King of kings and Lord of lords. Lord Jesus Christ anointed. All right. Lord Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus in Christ in sincerity. Are you sincere about your faith? Do you confess it to others? 10 minutes and 43 seconds. Amen, Selah. And here's what I wrote at the end. This is not scripture. This is B period Eugene Bear Arrow Anderson alias writing. All beloved brothers are saint sons. Sent apostle teachers, apostle means sent one, no greater than that. You can be, a, we all can be sent ones with the truth. Sent apostle teachers, aged elders, that's person 50, 60, or 70 years old, and I'm 70, almost 75. I'm only five months away from 75. Five and five, that's why I put two dashes under H. Five is in the sacred name. Twice, H and H, the big letters here. But the smallest one has the greatest numerical value, 10. 10, 5, 5 is 20, and humanity 6 is 26 in the sacred name, uh, numerically, in Hebrew letters. Aged elder, father hearts. It's all about love, the agape love of God and the brotherly love. For his creation, El Father's love for his creation, Elohim creator, two singular titles, El Elyon, first and highest. God said in the Old Testament, I am the highest God. I know of no gods higher than me, and I am first. I know no living gods first before me. I am the highest living God, and I am the first living God. I am the supreme creator. El, El, Yan, Eloa, Elohim, El Shaddai, all-sufficient provider who loves us and has a book of remembrance, which could be called the book of life. Is your name written in it? Have you confessed the Lord with your vocal cords, your tongue, and your mouth? and that you believe he's your Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord and Savior, and that El Father raised him from the dead, ascended and seated at his own right hand. The Lord Jesus Christ is our mediator and will announce our name before the Father and his angels when we cross over unto immortality dwelling in the light, eternal life, the eternal purpose, of the creator, supreme being God, and he has one name, Yava, and the short form name, Yah, hallelujah, praise ye God, the Father and the Son have the same identical name because the Father and the Son are the one God. Love you. Bye.